How you doing everyone? Scott back again and back again for another vinyl update. It's unlike me to do two updates in a week but I've had a special delivery and that delivery was from Hammerheart Records. It was Fragile, hammerheart.com. So how this came about, uh, Mark G with a C recently got a big haul of records from Hammerheart and um, I just looked at his haul and I thought, right, I'm going to get a piece of this action. I didn't really know what to expect. I'd never ordered off Hammerheart before. So I didn't know if it was going to be kind of on the extreme side because of Mark's taste. But um, there was a good mix. There was death metal, thrash, thrash metal and just straight up heavy metal as well. So um, a lot to choose from and the prices were just superb. Um, prices you just can't turn down. And you get to the stage where you've got to restrain yourself from buying 25 records. So I managed to restrain myself to five. Um, but saying that, I think I'm going to go back and pick up some others that I didn't grab in this delivery. So, right, we're going to do an unboxing. Let's get into this. So... Didn't take long to come either. So I wasn't waiting around for too long. And that's how that's done. So let's see what we get first. Oh, so I've got some freebies here. A Hammer Heart Records sticker. That is actually very cool. So that is that, and flyer with albums that are being released, and if this is what I think it is, it is, oh I like this, this will be getting worn into the shop. Nice. A hammer heart mask. This is what you get from record stores now. You get a hammer heart COVID mask. That's pretty cool though. I look like a black Sub Zero from Mortal Kombat. Right. So, a couple of wee freebies there. Quite nice. Let's go on to the records. Alright, okay. packed really well. So let's see what the first one is. Well, I know what it is, but... Ah, right, okay. So, and they come in the uh, sleeves and everything. Double sleeved. I like it. So, first one is Hell Ripper. Um, complete and total fucking mayhem. So, you would have heard me talking about Hell Ripper in my last update. Um, just amazing stuff. Guy from Scotland lives about three hours from me, um, and his music on vinyl is really hard to get a hold of because it gets released in limited quantities. So, um, went on Hammerheart, saw this. I was all over it. This was the most expensive um, record that I bought, but I couldn't leave it. So, as you can see, this gets double bagged. That's that's a nice touch. Um, so nice matte finish on that. So this is basically it's not an EP. It's like a compilation of his songs that he's released. So basically, before he brought out his 2019 EP and his album he was on a lot of split albums so split with other bands 
and this is basically um almost like well, basically a compilation album of songs that weren't put on EPs or albums it's just songs that he individually released or were put on splits with other bands so I'm really really happy to grab that on vinyl um his stuff is really not easy to come by um so I was all over this so oh so that gives you the the splits that he was on with other bands uh, that's a good bit of card and you also get what's this this wee flyer as well and with it I'm sure it's just in black yeah the usual black vinyl and oh nearly There's the labels. So yeah, that's kind of um I think it was only limited to about four hundred copies. So it's really not easy to get a hold of this. I've been looking for his um album on vinyl for I don't know how long, but I just cannot seem to find it anywhere. It's sold out everywhere. Um I go on certain websites, it says the price and then you go to buy it and it says out of stock or um it just basically lets you down at the last minute so sorry i'm just in complete disarray here so yeah that's hell ripper i said in my last video you've got to check him out he's like a one-man project that does blackened uh, speed metal mixed with almost a uh, motorhead that kind of rock and roll sound as well so it's, it's just awesome so i'm really glad to get that um, okay, next one. Okay, so this is one I've been eyeing up for a <coughs> eyeing up for a while, um, but never pulled the trigger. And I saw this for the rest of these were under under ten euros, so that's about I don't know eight pounds fifty um, in the UK, um, and it's Vindicator, and there will be blood. This is their uh, debut album, I think, from 2008. I think it is. These guys are from America. But I hadn't heard this band until I saw this album on eBay. And I thought, do you know what? That's a really cool cover. Um, I'm going to check them out. And I loved it. So it's been actually sitting in my watch list on eBay for, I'd probably say, at least three or four months. And I've just never pulled the trigger on it but when I saw this for I think it was nine euros 90 or something like that I thought yeah that is going in the basket so let's open this up get a better look at it but yeah if you've not heard Vindicator it's a US thrash but it's, it's superb um, there's a picture in the back of it, I'll show you a picture, I don't know. Um, collage and lyrics. And just again on black vinyl. I don't think this one had an option of getting any other colour, but... Um, I always go for black vinyl if I have the choice. I don't know why. It's just, um, it's too much choice sometimes, so I just go for black. But yeah, Vindicator, absolutely superb. And it's funny that I heard of their debut album first. This is the one you see all the time. I think they've got two other albums after this one, but I've never, ever, never, ever seen them. So um, this is on Dementia Records. Rash and Destroy Vindicator. So that was a really good pickup. Uh, what's the next one? All right, nice. So in fact, I'm, I'll am i go for the first one. In fact, this is the first one. So we have Malaya Rage and Kill to Survive. Um, it's one I see quite often, the OG press, 
but it's just not an album I'm willing to pay 25 quid for, which is usually the price I see it for. Um, there's a better look at that awesome cover. So I'd heard a couple of songs off this album, um, but wasn't completely familiar with it until we did the Contact and Blood live stream, and it's the the first time we all did a kind of album review, and this was Mark's pick for the album that he wanted us to review, and it really kind of sparked um, sparked it with the band for me because it was just because you've got to kind of. If you're reviewing an album, you can't just listen to an album and think, yeah, that's okay. You've kind of got to go back over it and back over it and back over it. And this album was a, it was just so easy to sink in. Um, just really great stuff. I think I gave it about an 8 out of 10. And uh, a must-have for the collection. So me saying it's a must-have and not having it was a bit strange. So definitely had to pick that up. So this is obviously the reissue. I think it is released by Hammerheart. Again... Black vinyl and labels there. So yeah, absolutely awesome. It's a great album. So there we go. Malaya Rage and Kill to Survive. Uh, next one up is again Malaya Rage and Solitary Solitude. This is their second album, I think. Here's a better look at the cover. Again, another great cover. So if you're comparing the two albums, um, I think I think this is the debut. Uh, this is more kind of like heavy metal, just straight up heavy metal, or in places, power metal, and then some other places, thrash. But this one is more kind of just straight up thrash metal. But again, really, really good stuff. Um, and again, there was a couple of uh, variations. There was, I think there was white vinyl and red vinyl, but I always just kind of pick black because I don't really know which one to pick. I mean, if it was random, I wouldn't mind if I got a white one or a red one, but if I've got the choice, I always just go black. So, um, so there's Malaya Rage and Solitary Solitude. Um, I can't remember the original release date. I think it's about 19... What is it? 88 or 89? So, yeah. Really, really happy to have those both now. Um, I was obviously at the stage at some point picking up the OGs and then just, I just thought, do you know what? These are together. They're both €9.90 Euros 90 or something like that. So I thought I can't go wrong. So that is that one. And the last one... Ah, yes. The last one is from Savage, and this is Loose and Lethal. Now, to be honest, when I first heard this, I thought it was kind of like new wave of traditional heavy metal. It kind of had that vibe about it. Well, obviously, because it's, it's, it's heavy metal. But I thought it was like a newer band. I'd never heard of Savage before. Um, when I checked them out, I realised this was from 1983. And... I'm not one to kind of jump into the whole new wave of traditional heavy metal. Um, but I don't know why I'm saying that, because it's not new wave of traditional heavy metal. But at the time, I thought it was. And um, I just really, really enjoyed it, and without even knowing uh, when it was released. Then I kind of went back and did a bit more research, and I realised it was a new album band, and it was released in 1983. Um, they've had a few albums out. I think this could be... This is their first full-length album. Um, but I think they've had about four or five albums. But yeah, this just kind of really clicked with me straight away. It was, um, it was one of those kind of strange things. that um, And I'm not a massive fan of, you know, like classic new album. Um, you know, it takes like a certain band for me to really get into rather than just kind of like take the whole genre as a whole but yeah this kind of clicked with me straight away and i thought yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna jump on that it's really really good um and this is the only one that i didn't get a choice on and it came on this clear vinyl which i don't know if i'm a massive fan of 
but um, it's definitely 180 gram anyway. And I always, I don't know, I just always prefer black vinyl, but um, yeah, I don't know. I suppose it looks nice enough, but that is Loose and Lethal by Savage. So there we go. That is my haul from Hammerheart. Is it weird that my favourite thing is this? That's cool. And it actually fits my face pretty nice. So there we go. That is my haul from Hammerheart. I definitely think I will be going back there because the prices are, are awesome. I mean, you do pay, I think, €14 Euros for delivery, but um, because of the... I mean, I think that worked out about £2.80 a record, so you can't really complain. But um, yeah, thanks for thanks to Mark for kind of bringing Hammerheart to my spotlight and um, kind of putting me onto them. But that is the haul I got from Hammerheart. It's really happy, especially with the the Hell Ripper. Um, uh, what's it? Complete and total fucking mayhem. That is just a, that's a great add to the collection. So yeah. Anyway, I'll stop boring you. And I'm away to go and um, fight crime. I was kind of pulling my ears down a little bit, but yeah. Anyway, that is my haul from Hammerheart. Hope everyone is well. Keep safe. And I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.